Thank you. <laughs> yeah, I mean, you know, don't get me wrong. Aaron's a piece of shit, too. Uh, but he's the piece of shit that Nick let fuck his wife. He's the piece of shit that Nick thought was a was okay to have in his jacuzzi, in his house, around his children. Uh, so again, Nick really knows how to choose. <laughs> I guess what I'm saying is if you want to fucking say that Aaron's a, a bad guy, yeah, that's fair enough. But like, again, you know, Nick, Nick thought this guy was, you know, good enough to fuck his wife, basically. Okay, that's all I want to say in regards to that. But this is what is this? What is NL NLO clips? All right, let's see whatever this is. This is uh, Rakeda calling in uh, and talking about Aaron. Okay. A clip. Uh, thanks for the ninety nine dollars super chat. Wow. Jesus fucking Christ. All right, hello. Hey man. Wow, it's working. Okay. Yeah, well, I just switched to using a phone like a normal human instead of trying to do it through a fucking yeah, computer. Yeah, let's do it old-fashioned. Anyway, it's an honor. Thank you for calling in. I know you probably can't say a lot. <laughs> yeah, I have to be very circumspect. It's kind of like I have a fucking felony charge. Yeah, yeah, I get it. It's funny to me that Aaron, Aaron was like, why won't he talk? And then he said, well, you know he can't talk. And then he goes right back to like, why won't he talk? <laughs> Yeah, it's uh, it's been a blast dealing with him in general, um, especially because like we really can't. I mean, not only can we not talk, we really can't talk about him at all. Um, he's obviously a potential witness, and so we've had to, you know, just sit here and uh, let him run his mouth as much as possible because, you know, he's a potential state's witness. So uh, that's. Do you think you that have to sit here and fucking take it? It's after great. after how many hours he's spoken about this, and after how many times someone like well, again, we'll just talk, you know, in general terms. When someone does something like this and they talk for a living, they sometimes speak for eight hours a day, and they contradict themselves so many times publicly. Can they be okay? I'm gonna be real with you. This guy is giving off like major Baldo guard vibes because it's like. I guess that applies to Aaron, but it does apply to the stupid motherfucker you're having right now on fucking stream that you're like, oh, Nick, thank you. Thank you for calling in. I love you, Nick. Nick, you and your ball. This guy looks like you would use the baldo too. What the fuck? You know what he looks like? It's really fucking weird. And I'm not even trying to like, I'm not trying to make like any bad implication, right? I'm not Nick. But this guy does literally look like Vito. I thought for a second when I fucking clicked on this, I thought this was Vito and he just changed his fucking name or something. This guy looks like Vito, dude. Like, what the fuck? I don't know, man. He's just... I don't know. <laughs> Used as, I mean, aren't they... At kind that of point, sounds like Vito in, a little bit, you know, too. Completely worthless as a, a witness? So again, speaking generally... I'm gonna rewind, but you guys saw it, right? Nick comes in, this motherfucker's already gobbling his cock. He's like, Nick, thank you for being here! Thank you for honoring me with your presence, dude! Okay, listen, I would get it if this was Nick from, like, I don't know, from maybe, like, the Keffel situation. Maybe, right? Maybe. But, like, bro, this is Nick, the guy that gave cocaine to his kids, even though he wants to deny it. This is Nick that had, like, all those grams of cocaine in his house, even though he wants to deny it. This is Nick who lies more than fucking Aaron. Let's be fucking honest. Whether or not that's because Nick is on the internet all the fucking time and can't stop fucking talking, and now we have the Kiwi Farmers, and now we got Null, and now we got the Sector, and now we got everybody fucking A-logging, and, um clipping this guy and shit or elisa or something nick lies all the time okay Vito's doppelganger over here uh Vito jr he lies all the time who do you think you're talking about or who do you think you're talking to you're talking to the fucking nose okay this is the nose all right there's a reason he's called nicky the nose all right, this guy lies all the fucking time. You want documentation? Go to fucking Kiwi Farms, all right? Because there are several posts where they catch him in lies. Uh, they even have clips. Or if you want, if you want to support, you know, me, you watch my videos where I have literal video proof. All right, shout out to the, shout out to, uh, to the people that make that possible, by the way. I know you guys on Twitter. 
getting those clips together, and of course, Kiwi Farms, getting the archives and the key and the and the whatnots together. But uh, uh, yeah, well, the credibility is up to the finder of fact in most cases. So that's going to be a jury or a judge in a bench trial. You know, they can um, they get to determine the credibility of each witness. There are certain things that a uh, a person can do or say to so undermine their credibility that the court finds their testimony will not be useful. Um, which where that where that place is is going to be different for every single person. I mean, I think I think in our case, he's got just facial credibility issues, but those have to be raised properly in court. Like I can't be screaming about them online. Everybody wants me to. Call him out, you call him up for right. this, call him up for that. It's like, dude, I Nick, you've been fucking unhinged about other things that people have advised you not do. Okay. Um, I always like Kumalot's hot takes, you know. He only has the Blim best. Any, yeah. Shut up. He only has the best takes. Okay. Look at look at those eyes, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, but look at the day's confused look. I forgot what my uh head mod GG called him, but I'm sure it was Nothing but a respectful analogy to another intellectual. Uh, so let's see Camelot's hot take on the situation. This is Camelot on April M. Holt as the Libin nanny and streaming from Nick's studio. If you guys... <laughs> okay, give me a second. All right. Because this... Yeah, this face kind of encapsulates it, doesn't it? Okay. Kumalot is one of the biggest fucking Baldo guards ever. He is one of the biggest Baldo washers out there. So I am actually like, I know I'm memeing about it, about him, like his hot take and shit on the situation. But I actually do want to know what he's going to say, because that's, if you guys know, April is like Nick's mistress and shit. He's, he's the one that, um, Aaron's wife and shit that, that he swapped with his wife and blah, blah, blah. Uh, she was uh, living with Nick, currently speculated to be living with Nick, uh, because she fucking streamed her Zoom hearing or something from Nick's own fucking studio, which is not really the smart thing to do. Even if you blur out the background, you could still see the Joker picture, you could still see the cat on the right, you can still see the Johnny Depp thing on the left. It was like a perfect replica, a side by side. So I'm wondering, yeah, I I kind of do want to know what the fuck Camelot has to say about this. Well, no, um, somebody said she wasn't like so when people got uh brought in or booked or whatever. Um, one of them said she was not a living nanny, and the other one said she was a living nanny or something because, um, I believe that if she lives there now, this is my ignorance talking, but I believe that if she lives there, she gets charged with possession, right? And um, they were trying to avoid her getting charged, which I guess is irrelevant now. And to be fair, um, I mean, if she's getting charged now, like, why not just say she lives there at this point? I don't really think it matters. <laughs> um, because oh my god, okay, <laughs> the only people like people like trolls and shit are going to come after you. Um, and if you're just like, yeah, you're correct. She lives with me. Then like they lose that ammo, and then you and they're like, we are no, bro. It they fuck. <laughs> oh, you lose the ammo, dude. It proves their point, though. It proves that fucking Rakeda and April are lying, fucking scumbags. Like this isn't about getting an own Cavalot. This isn't about getting gotchas. This is about fucking them just lying, and you're proving the quote unquote trolls right. You're fucking lying scumbags. Holy fucking shit, Camelot. Okay. You're having sex with her. And then you say, yeah, I am having sex with her. And they lose that ammo and it's over. You don't really worry about it. <laughs> if you're wanting um, to give the impression that she doesn't like live with you, I, I probably don't probably don't have her stream in the, uh, in the studio. I'm going to be honest. <laughs> I'm just saying. I don't know. But even, I don't know. Maybe like he's not worried about it. Bro, even Camelot fucking. Okay. Hold on a second. Did Nick not... Did Nick not deny this claim though? Like Camelot is coming out and he's straight up saying like, yeah, that's Rakeda studio. Did fucking Nick not refute that? Wasn't Nick like, no, wasn't that's not my studio. Uh, prove that she lives with me or something. Was that not like what he was saying? Maybe I'm maybe I'm like not uh remembering it right, but like I could have sworn he didn't admit. Like he wasn't as forthcoming with this as his buddy over here about that at all like maybe that's maybe it's just like an ongoing troll like thing i ah, just troll everybody 
and, and again, I'm not a lawyer, so I don't really know how the legal process works is if, you know, if she lives at a place and if it's they're considering putting charges or levying charges against her based on where she is or if she lives at a place. I don't know. Um, but just because Camelot re-brought this up, though. Um, yeah, another thing that was kind of like conflicting, I pointed it out on the video and like uh, people like Baldo News pointed this out on Twitter. They were like, uh, fucking... April's defense says that the drugs didn't belong to her, but Riketa says that the drugs didn't belong to him. So it's like, who's telling the truth? Is it April? Is it Riketa? Like, that this just kind of fucked them up or something? So, again, like, one of these people aren't telling the truth, but, well, I mean, look at the characters involved. Are you really fucking surprised? That's all. That's all I really say about that. But it also leads to the uh, understanding that you know, what, what was Aaron saying? And I could be completely wrong, but wasn't Aaron saying that they would like lock themselves in a room for like a like 23 hours and then only come out like rarely? And that was kind of what was leading Nick to canceling shows and shit. Um, it kind of gives credence to that still happening if like the furthest she can go to get on camera is the studio, um, which, you know, obviously that that doesn't really mean anything, especially if. You know, Nick's been proving time and time again that he's clean, so it doesn't really matter. Wait, I mean, Nick if has, you're not like, wait a minute, would... Nick has proven time and time again that he's been clean. All right, I'm gonna call a little bit of cap on that. Uh, I don't know. What do you think, Chat? Has Nick proven time and time again that he's been he's been clean? That's what Camelot says. That's what Camelot thinks, I guess. In his infinite wisdom, what do you think? Has Nick proven that he's been in clean time and time again give me a one if you think so give me a two if like hell fucking no camelot what kind of crack are you taking wouldn't really have a reason to lock yourself up and like go on benders if you were clean right so it doesn't really matter yeah so uh, that basically uh the request to dismiss the charges is based on the fact that um april doesn't live there um there is no evidence to support that she was in possession of any drugs. Um, the two credit cards that were found were of date in her name and they were used to like, you know, cut lines, um, which gives credence to her using, I guess, but I don't know. Um, <clears throat> as far as, I mean, I guess it all hinges on if she lived, if she like lives there at the time. So I guess this kind of still is kind of sh strange to me as to why you would appear in the streaming studio. <laughs> You know what I'm saying? I mean, I could be wrong. I, maybe it's already passed. Um, but if your uh, request to dismiss is based on the fact that you do not live there and you're just visiting, probably maybe don't join in the studio. <laughs> I don't know. Um, <laughs> it seems a little strange. I'm not exactly pissed at Rackets about April. I don't think anybody is. Um, I think the main thing they're pissed about is like the, the overt, like vague, the vague thing. You know how it's like, a, oh, dude, they're pissed because your friend lies all the fucking time, bro. Like, that's why they're this guy is fucking clueless. This guy is either fucking clueless or he's shameless. Like, he's shamelessly pretending why the Internet doesn't like Rikada at this point or why some of his own former fans don't like Rikada. Like, no, it's because Rikada lies all the fucking time. He's a pathological. Oh, I mean, to be fair, though, to be fair, there are a couple of reasons why people could dislike Nick. People could dislike Nick because Nick, they were falsely accused by him. Uh, people could dislike Nick because he put his kids in danger. People could dislike Nick because he tried to make a man game end over the internet. Uh, people could dislike Nick because he's a fucking hypocrite. People could dislike Nick because of what he did to Vic Mignogna. People could dislike... <laughs> so as you can see, there are kind of uh, multiple reasons here. Uh, why people would like not not be Nick's biggest fan here? All right, all right. So a bunch of you think too. All right, fuck that shit. Nick has not proven time and time again that he's clean. I gotta agree with I gotta agree with Chat. All right. Uh, so I thought like I Chat. I don't think Camelot's really getting it. Okay, I don't think he understands. I don't know. Do you think it's because he's fucking retarded? Do you think it's because he's uh, a Baldo guarding? Like, I th I don't know if you can make it any more clear to this guy about why people don't really like Nick Riketa on the internet right now. All right, I don't know. Like, a best case scenario, fucking 
Caramel is just a little re re. Right? He's a little retard and he doesn't know any better. Uh, worst case scenario, he's just Baldo guarding again. And it's in it, at this point, man, it's a little shameless. You should stop doing that. They just put the broom down. All right, you've been a good soldier. Put the broom down, though. There's no need to continue. <laughs> No need to continue the facade, okay? The downplaying of Rakeda just being a fucking wench over and over and over again. Yeah. I think it's this, you know, sense of pretending that no one knows or no one sees. You know, when everybody knows and sees, right? So it's um, I think that's where a little bit of the anger comes from. Um, you know, uh, but it's it, it's like a, a why lie about it at yes. this point. Why lie? No, that is the story of Nick's life, bro. That is the question you should be asking Rakeda. Why lie, Nick? I use it as a tool for being based. Yeah, bro. I make hot blondes. That's what you know. That's what I do. The lemon nanny. Yeah. What? Okay, no. Thank you. Thank you very much for that hot take, uh, Camelot. All right. You you definitely gave a lot of insight that we definitely needed. Okay. Appreciate it. Thanks, man. All right. Good shit. 